Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're all doing okay. It's the Scouse Bandit here on another nice day. I'm having a good uh, run of luck at the moment with the days. I just wanted to do um, a very quick little vlog today as I'm out and about on my travels. Um, it's quite a self-indulgent one, really. I wanted to talk um, about five things. A lot of people on these... Um, Lots of people on YouTube do five things that I love about biking or five things, you know, whatever it might be. So I wanted to do a little blog, uh, vlog on that with a twist. So I'm going to do my own version of that. And it's five things that really irritate me. So the first thing that really irritates me is dirty windows. Now... You're going to have to bear with me on this one. Dirty windows. Because I've got to be honest with you. I've got a bit of an OCD thing about cleanliness, if I'm being totally honest. I like things to be clean. I like things to be, uh, to be well maintained and well cleaned. And uh, probably you can maybe get a sense of that as you look at the way I look after my bike. Because my bike is always clean. Um, I don't like things being dirty. And uh, one of my particular bugbears is dirty windows. Windows that have got fingerprints all over them. Now, that's quite hard when you've got four children living in the house who seem to think that they can just put their fingers on windows at any time and leave nice greasy finger marks all over your clean windows. So um, I spend my life going round cleaning windows um, and I suppose it's just cleanliness in general so I like things to be kept tidy I like things to have an order everything has a place and it needs to live in that place so when I go into my kids bedrooms it's um it's quite difficult it's quite challenging for me to go into the teenage bedrooms and find stuff just festooned all over the place, lying around. Find that hard. So um, I'm sorry if that's not like you. I'm sorry if you're not like that, but I, um, I am, and I like things to be kept tidy. I like things to be in, in the right place. And so um, that's the way it is. So that's the first one on my list. Dirty windows and uncleanliness in general. So number two on the list of things that irritate me Money. I can't stand money. I think it says in the Bible that money is the root of all evil. Um, and I think I totally agree with that. Money, uh, with there's so much greed in this world and people wanting more and more and uh, a lot of injustice, I suppose. There's the, there's the rich and there's the poor and, uh, you know, and... It, there's enough resources in this world to go around to make sure that everyone has equal measure, and yet we see people starving. Uh, and I don't just mean starving on the, you know, abroad in these developing countries such as Africa, etc. There's people who have little or nothing on our own doorsteps. Money drives me potty. Um, and it seems that many of us just our lives are governed. By, by money, by wanting more, by being driven for success um, in this world that we live in, which is constantly demanding more and more, that we keep up with the Joneses and that we have the latest things and the best things and, and we get sucked into that. And it's, it's sad and it puts pressure on us. It puts pressure on, on us individually. It puts pressure on families to try and do that and Christmas is the prime example isn't it you know people put themselves in year long debt for Christmas to make sure that they've got the latest things for their children at Christmas and, and it shouldn't be that way it's losing sight of what things are about and you know and I, I just think it's sad so money goes right up there on one of the things that really irritate me I know that we need it but it's very irritating so, number three on the things that really irritate me. Um, this one is, uh, is one I think that most people will relate to. Lack of manners. 
A simple please and thank you goes a long way in this world. Showing respect for other people just goes a long way in this world. Just being generally kind, generally nice and, and warm towards other people, helpful towards other people, offering to do things for others when you know that they need them. Manners, simple manners, just go a long way in this world. And if we all just live like that, then what a different world it would be in. What a totally different place if we all just showed respect and if we just carried out simple manners for each other. And that, I suppose, involves not just towards each other, but to, uh, respect and manners towards the environment as well. And, and, you know, like not dropping litter, looking after things, not having this uh, nonchalant attitude um, no, this apathetic attitude towards, towards life and towards things in general. You're know, looking after each other, looking after um, the world and the environment, care and respect. So that's number three. That was a bit heavy, that one. That's a heavy one. Um, so number four is a slightly uh, light-hearted one. Buses. Now... I know buses do a really good service, and without them, so many people will be lost because they need a bus in order to get from A to B because they can't drive or they don't have a vehicle or they, they can't um, afford to drive or whatever it might be. So buses are there for people and are good. However, they drive me potty because they always seem to be in my way, and they always just either pull in or just pull out in front of you. They expect you, a bus... If it's in one of these like special bus lanes where it's parked up because it's at the bus stop and then it's wanting to pull out, a bus would just expect you to allow them to come out. In other words, to flash them or to give them space so that they can come out. They would expect that. However, never do the way around. They never let you in. A bus never lets you in. I can't say I've ever had a bus driver let me in. Or flash me, you know, to give me, um, to, give, to give way to me. Can't say this ever happened. And yet they expect us to do it the other way around. Buses, get on me nerves. They're number four on me list. Number five. Number five on the list of things that really annoy me. Are you ready for it? This is the big one. Technology. I have a love-hate relationship with Technology. I'd be absolutely lost without it. I think we all would. We'd be all lost without it. Well, we wouldn't be able to vlog without it, would we? There's one thing. But we'd be lost without the, the internet, without our computers. I mean, I don't know where I'd be without a computer now. I would live my life um, via email and uh, carry out most of my work via email and using technology for that. My diary, everything I have is on my phone, all my contacts, my email, everything. Without it, I think I'd be completely stuck. Our TVs at home are super-duper technology in that respect. Now, TVs are amazing. Technology is just huge. However, it drives me potty. Life was so much more simple, wasn't it, before technology sort of took over, before computers took over. Life was just a little bit more simplistic. We had more time for each other. There didn't seem to be this fast pace that technology brings. We had to wait for the post to drop things off rather than the emails. You know, it was, a, it was a different way of life back then. And I get fed up of having to charge everything. You know, everything needs charging. There's a cable for everything. So every new product you buy has got a cable on it. Another thing's a charge. When you go on holiday now, I have a, you know, we all have wash bags that we take on holiday with us. I also have another wash bag with hundreds of cables in and chargers that I have to take with me for various different items that need charging. And keeping on top of these things is a nightmare. Kids' toys. Everything requires either charging or requires a battery. Um, you never have any batteries in the house. They're always running out of batteries. And it costs a fortune. 
Now, I know that life without technology now would be, well, you could never go back, and I wouldn't want to go back. I wouldn't want to go back. But I've got to say, as much as I love technology, it drives me crackers as well. So there you go. There's uh, my alternative list of five, five things that really irritate me. So I wonder what irritates you. You might want to agree with me on my list, or you might want to add your own things to my list, or you might want to completely disagree with the things that I've said. So uh, let me know.